Have you been waiting to get your IDL loan? I bet you have. I know there's a lot, a couple thousands of people out there still waiting to get that loan. I'm Liz Soria. I'm a tax advisor and accountant. I've been running my successful business for over a decade online. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about a little secret sauce that I think could really, really help you. And I wanted to share this as soon as I knew about it because I know it's giving results. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that perhaps you apply earlier, you know, back in April or maybe even afterwards, but unfortunately, you know, you've been having a hard time. And what about those people who are in the loop? And what I mean by loop is that people who have not been denied because of credit or they haven't been denied because of any other reason, because remember, intentionally, they're not supposed to be denying you credit. What? Yeah, that's right. They're not supposed to be denying you credit due to your credit. Second of all, they cannot tell you that you have to make a certain income for you to be approved because that's not true either. And third, okay, as long as you have some sort of income, all right, and that you had during before January 31st, you should be able to get approved. Now, yes, we're talking about hundreds of thousands, millions, actually millions, let me correct myself, millions of loans that hit the SBA, not to mention the PPP side, right? So this episode is gonna be about those people out there who are listening or watching and still waiting even though they have applied, they still are just giving them a round and round. Yeah, I know what it is. I have plenty of clients like that that are in the same position that you're right now. And as it is, we rec I'm recording this in the middle of uh, 2020, and I can't believe there's still so many people waiting for it. And like I said, some of you have not even received a correspondence, and every time you contact them, there's always a story, or every time you email, they tell you to continue waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah, I've heard it all. So I'm not surprised when people make comments and tell me what the stories are. So here is my secret sauce to try and help you, because I see it with my clients, all right? And here's the thing if you've been ignored by you know uh ideal sba by all means the first thing you want to do if you have any good business attorney yes you heard me right if you have a good business attorney or find one who can be highly recommended you might want to go ahead and invest that's right invest is not an expense when you hire professional services it's not called an expense and contract an attorney to draft a letter in your behalf. You heard me? That's right. Let them draft a letter in your behalf stating that they're representing you, okay? Even though you might just, you know, contract them just to, you know, like I said, write that letter, but you want them to write that letter in behalf of you saying, hey, here we have a client who has been waiting and waiting, and it seems like there's really not a reason for SBA to you know justify why they be on hold this loan okay and here's the thing okay if that happens you're gonna be surprised look what I'm telling you this is really working right now so again listen to me carefully please if you are still in the loop and you already apply and it's been a couple weeks or even months and you're still not getting your loan then by all means invest the money look an attorney's letter could cost you probably a couple hundred dollars okay i'm not lying it could be up to you know i don't know it's, i would say an average it could be anything between 350 500 depending where you're at you know as we know certain parts of the united states are a little more expensive than others and you can do that and you're going to see the big difference because just one letter if you have a loan officer especially already assigned to your loan that is perfect if not let them at least send it, okay? Let them send an email, copy of that letter, and also by mail. You hear me what I'm saying? Let them return it, yes, spend a couple hundred dollars. Again, it's an investment. And make sure, because if you do that, you're gonna be really shocked how quickly they're gonna respond to you, and hopefully you're gonna come back here to my episode, my video, my you know podcast that I, by the way, I have a podcast too, um, and you're going to probably say like and share and whole oh, Liz, I mean, wow. I mean, only if somebody had told us that a long time ago, maybe you, you would have got your loan. I really have faith. I seen a couple of people already getting their loans after being stuck, stuck 
for months that it was not moving the needle, needle no matter what they did. They made multiple calls, they follow up with emails, they keep submitting the documents. Are you familiar with that? Yeah. Or give me your tax return, give me your financials, blah, blah, blah. Give me the documents, give me your transcript. And no matter how much you give them, it's like somehow it's like a vicious, you know, circle. It's just you keep, you know, spinning and without no solution. I know because I see it in my clients. So again, I'm giving you a secret sauce. Go ahead, contract a legal attorney, business attorney, that's right, and do that. But if you cannot even afford a couple, because I can, like I said, it could be from 350, 500, 1,000, depending on the attorney that you hire. So you're gonna need to shop around a little bit and see which attorney, it's willing probably to do some, you know, uh, really, feasible you know fees to draft that letter but if you don't i do have one more secret that i'm not going to share here on this episode but however if you go back to my website and you do register with my newsletter that i'm offering then it's by the way it's completely free it's very good it's called the biz in a lit uh newsletter and it's packed with a lot of information that i share only once a month okay and that's the only thing i'm going to ask you in exchange your email right and with that, I'm going to give you another source that is going to be way, way more feasible for you to get a letter drafted, okay, and, can, and, and have them do that for you because that would change a lot of things. I'm telling you, I know what I'm saying, and I know it has helped so many people that I wanted to share this. But again, like I said, if you cannot hire a direct business attorney, and pay them a couple hundred dollars there's another alternative however yes i'm asking you to go ahead and register with my newsletter and i will reveal i will reveal the other source that i have that you can get started okay for less are you ready for this less of a hundred dollars that's right so you can start getting this thing move all your documents and everything because he here's the reality SBA, when they see attorneys getting involved, they don't like it, right? So here's the thing. You need to help them push your account and your case forward. Because remember, they have millions. So if you're taking extra steps, and like I said, you've been following up, doing emails, making phone calls, and all that, if they get a letter from an attorney, oh gosh, you're going to see a change. And I hope, and if you do, please share and comment in this video or my podcast, because it does help to see other people that knows that what I'm sharing is valuable information, is helping so many people out there. So again, do that. And for all of you who are out there, if you get those loans and you're doing well, by all means, come back, because I'm also offering complimentary, okay? I'm not charging a single dime, I'm a nickel, not at all, no credit card, nothing. I'm offering entire free training online, that's gonna help you how to start a new business or maybe even just really um, change things in your current business to improve it. Because remember, sometimes we just need to kind of tweak a little bit our business because if you're not getting the results that you want, there's something wrong. There's something that needs to be changed, we agree? And because of that, it will be worth your time just really enrolling into this complimentary. I have a separate video I'm going more in detail about this, but again, like I said, we're here for you. I'm a tax accountant. Yes, I offer plenty of accounting services and special tax planning if that's your next step that you want to do. But for now, I want to give as much as free value and, like I said, content to people out there because I really believe that the small business owner like you, it's going to improve the economy of this country and it's going to be able to hire many other people who are unemployed right now. So go get your loan. And like I said, don't, don't, don't wait a minute. Make sure that if you do not want to hire a like contract a business attorney, register my newsletter. And like I said, I'm going to reveal the secret sauce of the source that I have that can really, really help you. And yes, there's an investment. It's not going to be free, but like I said, it's going to be less than $100 for you to get started. So I don't know where you can go that hopefully you can finally push your loan forward, especially when there's going to be a couple thousand dollars. I think it's well worth it. So anyhow, yeah, I hope to, um, to, to hear back from you. And like I said, again, like, share, because obviously that always helps to grow my, my, my channel. And uh, I wish you, you know, the best. I want you to stay safe. I want you to hopefully stay optimistic, no matter what times we're living. I know they're very challenging, 
but I know we can do it. I know we can go through this and we can end up in the other side a lot better and hopefully a better versions of ourselves, which is what matters. So again, like, share, and comment. And like I said, I'm going to have all the links and everything below for you to get registered for that online course. And like I said, if you do the newsletter also, mm, that's going to be uh, where I'm going to reveal the secret sauce of where you can go and do that. All right, take care. Bye-bye.